of Brad McGuffin Reviews. Hooper, 1978, an action comedy. Directed by Hal Needham and starring Burt Reynolds, uh, Sally Field and Jean-Michael Vincent. So yeah, this is a real uh, nostalgia watch for me. I um, watched this as a kid and I rewatched this on YouTube. And yeah, it was great to rewatch it again. Um, if you like the Smokey and the Bandit movies, you're going to like this. It has, you know, all that same, it has the same director as those movies and, and the stars of those two movies. So yeah, um, Burt Reynolds, Hollywood legend, uh, fancies himself as a stuntman in real life. Or yeah, I mean, if you ever watch Deliverance, he does his own stunts. Uh, he plays Sonny Hooper, who's the top stuntman in Hollywood. And this movie is a homage, it's a tribute to the, the unsung heroes of stunt work. Uh, directed by Hal Needham, who was a stuntman, a very, very big stuntman. A very, um, he, he's, Burt Rounds is basically playing him in this movie. And... Uh, yeah, so he's basically paying tribute to his fellow stuntmen in this movie and uh, giving you a glimpse behind the scenes, the life of a stuntman, a Hollywood stuntman. Um, Hal Needham, you'll know from Smoking the Bandit 1 and 2, uh, Cactus Jack, The Cannonball Run and Cannonball Run 2, Megaforce, Stoker Ace, um, Rad and Body Slam. So, yeah, he's uh, he's directed those movies, and uh, yeah, he's a when he action comedy seems to suit his his style, and uh, yeah, Burt Reynolds. You've seen him in Deliverance, White Lightning, Mean Machine, Gator, Sharky's Machine, City Heat, Stick, Switching Channels, Physical Evidence, Bean, Boogie Nights. Dukes of Hazard, the remake uh, from the TV show. So yeah, he's been in, that's only tip the iceberg of his um, filmography. Um, big star in his day. And yeah, this, these movies would be, this this era of his life would probably be the pinnacle of his, um, of his, uh, you know, success in the business with, uh, he had a lot of big hits around this time with uh, you know the Smoking the Bandit movies and uh, and this movie this movie was a big success. Um, also in this we have Sally Field, um, who who plays his girlfriend Gwen Doyle, and in real life they also had a relationship, which um, which yeah you can feel they're sort of they have this um, what would you say the magic on screen together the two of them. Um, now Sally Field you know from Steel Magnolias, uh, Not Without My Daughter, Soap Dish, Mrs Doubtfire, Forrest Gump, the TV show Brothers and Sisters, Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 and Lincoln and uh, yeah so she's had an amazing career as well and um, she plays his his girlfriend in this, uh, Sonny Hooper's girlfriend and um, course you know she's not happy with his 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 career his job because it always puts him in danger but um she has to live with it so yeah we have also we have the new the new stuntman on the block played by jean michael vincent and he plays delmore ski should ski let's call him ski and uh you may know him from the mechanic damnation alley Big Wednesday, uh, the TV show Airwolf, um, movie Bite the Bullet, Shadow of the Hawk, Vigilante Force, and Buffalo 66. So he's playing the young buck, the new guy, and uh, he wants to show, he wants to take over Sonny Hooper's sort of prestigious role as the best stuntman in Hollywood. And uh, he's got some new tricks up his sleeve. But, um, but yeah, because this is such a lighthearted uh, movie, they're they're um yeah they they sort of become friends and it's it's not it's not too much of a you know rivalry they're yeah 
they're happy to be friends with each other and uh, learn off each other and um, you know there's no great uh, menacing rivalry here it's it's a friendly sort of situation um great supporting cast here brian keith plays uh gwen's dad jock doyle another stuntman who sonny has um knocked off his top spot over the years um we have john marley um who plays max burns the producer in the movie of the movie they're making in this we have robert klein who plays roger deal he's the director in our fictitious movie in the in the film and we have um james best who plays cully friend to sonny hooper and we have adam west who plays adam and sonny hooper is the is his stuntman in this so um good to see adam west and uh, you know him from yeah the batman tv show back in the 60s and uh yeah so you have a light-hearted movie about the making of a movie and um, i forget the name that they're using it is it's it's a spy movie starring adam west or adam and um yeah you have a uh, as I said, if you like the Smoking the Bandit movies, you're going to like this. Um, it's pretty light. It's, uh, yeah, it's, you're just, it's just rolling off the charisma of um, Burt Reynolds and Sally Field and uh, your leads on this. And, yeah, it's lighthearted. And, you know, you've got an action comedy here. You're seeing some great stunts. Leads up to a, a huge stunt at the end of the movie. Um, our director, played by Robert Klein, Roger Deal, is always pushing the limits. He wants to test his stuntman. He wants to make a great movie, but uh, he doesn't care about putting our stuntmen in danger. And um, yeah, so you're seeing all the old school stunts, no CGI, all, yeah, guys, you know, putting their lives in danger and it's a tribute to them. And yeah, you're gonna enjoy this. I'd give this a, Three, three out of five for me and um yeah it was nice to watch it again i as i said i seen it as a kid and um and it holds up well it's um it's a nice tribute to behind the scenes work that goes on in these movies and in hollywood and uh yeah it's a it's a tribute to the the people that uh you know do the make bring the magic of the Hollywood uh, stunts to life. Okay, Fred McGuffin, Hooper, 1978. Check it out, enjoy. Fred McGuffin's reviewed Hooper.